This is a video lesson for solving kinematically equations symbolically. The learning target for this lesson is, I am learning to solve the kinematics equations symbolically for variables only, using no numbers. The success criteria for this lesson are, I can set up a word problem correctly using the correct kinematics equation given the information in a problem, and I can solve the problem symbolically for the correct variables without plugging in numbers. Okay, so to learn how to do to learn how to solve equations symbolically first, we're going to uh, we're going to look at a problem with uh, numbers first. So we have train A traveling at seventy miles per hour, so seventy mph, leaves westward, heading towards eastward at three hundred miles per hour, uh, three hundred miles away. Sorry. At the same time, train B is traveling at sixty miles per hour, leaving eastward heading toward westward when do the trains two trains meet how far from each city do they meet okay so we have train uh, a is traveling at 70 miles per hour heading in this direction so this is a positive direction it's moving from left to right and east uh, the train b so this is a and b is traveling at 60 miles per hour and it's going in a negative direction Okay, so we're using the equation for uh, constant motion. So we have uh, x is equal to x naught plus v times t. Okay, so we're, we have two equations, two variables. So we wanna know both where they meet and we wanna know when do they meet. So what's the time that they meet? Okay, so let's set up our equation. So we have x is equal to x naught. So we're going to say that westward is at zero and that eastward is at 300 miles. So uh, <clears throat> train westward is leaving at zero, is leaving from zero. He's traveling in a positive direction at 70 miles per hour and we don't know the time. And then train B is leaving from 300 miles away, that's its initial position. And then it's moving at negative 60 miles per hour. And it's traveling at some time. Okay, so uh, we can solve one of these equations for time, plug the information into the other equation, and we can then solve for x, uh, which we will then plug back into the equation for time. Okay, so, or rather we will uh, plug one of these equations into x for the other equation and then solve for time. Okay, so uh, this left equation here count, uh, simplifies down to 70 miles per hour times time. So let's plug this into the right equation. So we have uh, 70 miles per hour times time is equal to 300 meters minus 60 miles per hour times time. So we're going to move the 60 miles per hour to the left side of the equation. So we have 70 miles per hour times time plus 60 miles per hour times time is equal to 300 miles. Okay, so add these together, that equals 130. So 130 miles per hour times time is equal to 300 miles. So time then is equal to 1.875 hours. Okay, so that is how long it takes for the trains to meet. So now that we have our time, so if we look at the units here, let's just do a quick uh, analysis of our units. So we have my, we have miles, I should write that as miles, not M for meters. Okay, so that's miles. Let me fix all these units real quick. Okay, so we have miles, and that's divided by miles per hour. Uh, so when you uh, do this division, you end up with the miles canceling up with hours. Okay, good. Okay, 
So now if we plug in our uh, time into this equation on the left here, we end up with x is equal to 70 miles per hour times 1.875 hours. And we're left with x is equal to 131.25 miles. So the train, the trains meet at one hour, 1.875 hours, and at, they meet at a distance of 131.25 miles. All right, so that's how you solve that problem with numbers. So now let's look at how you solve it without numbers. Okay, so here's a problem without numbers. So we have train A traveling with speed V sub A leaves westward heading toward eastward, a distance D away. At the same time, train B traveling with a speed V sub B leaves eastward heading toward westward. So our problem, show how you can use equations that describe constant velocity motion to derive, we're trying to derive the following expression for the time that the two trains meet. So this is the expression that we're trying to come up with. T is equal to D divided by V sub A plus V sub B. Steps to take. Determine the correct equation to use. Set up the equation correctly for the conditions given. And then correctly derive the final equation for the given problem. Okay, so I'm going to change, I'm going to flip to a, to a blank screen here. So Train A is moving in the positive direction. So let's just set everything up here. So VA is positive. VB is negative. And the distance traveled is D. Okay, so we have VA is positive. VB is negative, And they're going distance D. Okay, so let's draw a diagram here. Okay, so we start at zero, we go to D. We have train A is traveling in this direction. Train B is traveling in this direction. A has a velocity of V, A, I keep changing from capital to lowercase, it doesn't really matter, but let's be consistent here. And then train B is moving at a velocity of V, B, and it's in the, in the negative direction because it's moving from right to left. Okay, so we're using the equation x equals x naught plus v t. Okay, so let's set up our equations and see what we can come up with. Okay, so our x for both equations is, is d. So our x naught for a is 0. So let's set up train a first. So train a Okay, so we have x is equal to, it starts at zero, and it's going a positive velocity, so VA times T. Train B is going, starting at D, and it's moving at an initial velocity of VB, or in a velocity of VB, and it's moving in the negative direction. So we're going to set these two equations equal to each other. So we have VA times T is equal to D minus VB over T. Now we're looking to solve for T. So I'm going to move VB T over to the right, over to the left side. So we have, let's see. So we have VA T plus V B T is equal to D. Now I'm trying to solve for D or for T. So I'm going to factor out T here. So we have T is V A plus V B is equal to D. I'm going to move this up here. So then uh, T is equal to D over V A plus V B, which is the expression that we were looking for.
Okay, so in this process, I figured out what variables I was going to use. I set up the problem correctly. So I looked at, I made it, I created a diagram of the problem, made sure that the variables were set up correctly, plugged it into the original equation. So when you're solving this type of problem, you have to use the original equation. This is, you have to show your work all the way through. This is how you get points in, uh, on the AP test. So you have to show your original equation and you have to show all your work all the way through. So this is very important. You're gonna lose points if you don't show all your work. Uh, so we have uh, plugging in the information into our equation, in, from the original equation into the equations that we're gonna use, then show all the work on how we got there. And there's our answer. All right, so what have we learned in this lesson? We learned how to set up a problem correctly. So we need to, we learned to determine the correct equation and make sure the initial conditions are correct. And we learned how to derive the final equation, which is to solve the equation for the variable you are looking for. All right, thanks everybody.